Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we'll cover how to control who can do and see what in Clockify. There are three types of users in Clockify. Admins, managers, and regular users. Let's first cover the admin role. Admins can see and do everything. They can create projects, edit time, invite members, update settings, and work with billable rates. There's also the owner, which is the person who created the workspace and is the only person who can remove another admin from the workspace. A workspace can have only one owner, but you can have as many admins as you want. If the owner for some reason leaves your company, they'll need to personally transfer the ownership to someone else by clicking here. To make someone an admin, click on someone's role and check the admin box. If making someone an admin is too much, you can give them a manager role. Then they can only see stuff that's relevant to them and nothing more. To make someone a manager, first decide whether they are a project manager or a team manager. If you check project manager and select these two projects, for example, then the person will be able to edit their projects plus see track time on them in reports. Alternatively, you can check team manager and select members for whom they can approve timesheets and see time in reports. Everyone who's not an admin or a manager is considered a regular user. What regular users can see and do depends on workspace settings. For example, you can set who can see hourly rates and amounts to admins and then managers and regular users won't see hourly rates anywhere. You can also hide projects, reports, team and team dashboard completely from regular users so they don't see those pages in the sidebar. Next, if you don't want everyone to see everyone's time, set regular users can see only their own time. A less strict option would be to allow people to see time on public projects. Below, you can control whether users should be able to see tracked versus estimated time on projects and overall progress on projects they are part of. And finally, you can prevent users from creating projects, clients, tasks or tags here. Just keep in mind that when someone creates a project, they automatically become that project's manager. Let's now cover who can see what projects. If you make a project public, everyone will be able to see it and track time on it. But if you make it private, you have to add members who can see it like this. To remove someone, click on the three dots next to them. Another way to add members to projects is via the bulk edit here. You can also control which tasks users see by assigning people to them. When a task is assigned to someone, only the assignees can select it when tracking time. If you have a lot of users, managing who can access what projects can be very difficult. To make it easier, you can assign people into groups and then assign groups to projects instead. For example, you can create a group, developers, add people to it, and then add a group to a project. Now, all the people in that group can access the project. Plus, if you ever add more people to the group, they'll automatically get access to all the necessary projects. Another bonus of having groups is that you'll be able to filter and break down time in reports by them. This concludes our roles and permissions tutorial. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other videos as well as like, share and subscribe.